The legend grows. Any questions? T Terry Carey, Eggers, Portland Tribune. I know you don't like to rank games, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Where does this rank among the great games you've seen as a coach? Uh, Damien's performance was probably the best performance I've seen in person. Um, you know, off the top of my head, I can't think of, uh, you know, I've seen 50-point games, obviously. But the way he carried the team in the first half uh, was, Dan was CJ in foul trouble. Uh, the magnitude of the last shot, obviously, to win a series. The fact that he's now won two series on a single shot, um, or on two shots, I should say. But, um, no, it was... It was quite a performance, and you know we had a lot of good, good effort up and down. Like you don't win a game, but with one guy, but he certainly was um, special tonight. Third row right, coach. Uh, coach Eric Anderson, USA Today. Uh, Ennis looked like he was laboring out there. What is he going through and dealing with right now? And what can you say about his toughness tonight, uh, being out there for you guys? I tell you what, he he gave it all. I mean, his shoulders bothering him. Uh, he played through pain. Uh, even with the pain, he was posting up. We played through him a little bit in the fourth quarter. Uh, he got some big rebounds, but the toughness he showed, um, I, I think it's a little bit indicative of our team, the fact that everybody does whatever they can to get a win. Uh, Kevin Pelton, ESPN.com. When did Nurk show up, and what kind of effect did you see that have? I was told that uh, we were down eight when he showed up. Um, so he's got a plus eight. <laughs> Actually, more than that. Actually, we won by three, right? So plus 11. So his plus minus was really good. Um, you know, that honestly, it, you guys know it. I mean, you felt it in the building when they showed him on the big screen, the fact that he showed up. No one knew he was going to show up. Um, and uh, honestly, I think we fed off of that. There was a little, uh, I think there was a little good karma when, uh, when he did show up. Royce Young, ESPN. Terry, you know, you talk about Dame's shot there, and, and you can kind of see the clock running out, and it's becoming apparent that he's going to launch it from almost half court. What's going through your mind there? Are you thinking, well, Mike could have got a better shot, or are you like, I'm just trusting No, him honestly, um, I mean, I didn't mind it because it was a tie score. Uh, Paul George and, and Westbrook were both had five fouls. We had momentum. So if it did go to overtime, you know, I liked our chances uh, with all that going on. But, uh, you know, when it got down to four or five, I kind of knew what was going to happen. Third row left, Coach. Uh, Terry, Dwight James, uh, whatever I work for. Yeah, I don't you've know. worked for so at many places. Point, <laughs> not, at this point in time, it's a little crazy. Um, can you talk about Damian, his magnitude as a player? He's kind of getting a lot more national publicity right now because of all this. But how many players have you seen that you'd be okay with pulling up for a 37-footer to win a game? You know, he's special. He's, you know, he's in classes of his own. You know, it's funny, you know, if Steph Curry does that, you know, people don't think much of it. But uh, Dame, for, for, for people who have not seen us play much, Dame's had a special year. And he is in the category of all those guys that don't, that he probably doesn't get as, not, as much acknowledgement for. But, you know, he has been doing it. People in Portland know he's, knows he's been doing it. He's carried our team this year. So, um, you know, it's just it's who he is, and and I'm thankful for it. Uh, Kevin Pelton, ESPN.com. Again? Uh, what, <laughs> what went into the decision to play Lillard the entire first half, and how did you kind of see him respond to that? Uh, it really was an easy decision with CJ with three fouls. I knew I wasn't going to go back with CJ. Uh, he was having a night, and, um, you know, for the first half, he can play 24 minutes. I didn't know how the second half was going to go, but I just, uh, it made no sense to take him out in the first half. Come on, Barry. Come on, you're the, you're the, oh, you're on deadline. Man, you're all over the airwaves. You're getting, you're interviewing everybody. Everybody's interviewing you. Give me three minutes and we'll be in business. I don't know if I'll be ready for that then. Up front, please. Jude Janubi, 1029 the game. Coach, a very intense finish to a very intense series. What does relaxing look like for you after this? Is there any sort of relaxing that you can do before the second round, watching a little Denver, San Antonio? Um, I don't know. Tomorrow will be uh, sleep in, maybe get a walk, um, have a glass of wine, probably have a little champagne now. So, uh, you know, it's, we re there's really not a lot to do. 
uh, going in since we don't know who we're going to play yet. Um, we'll all watch the game on Thursday and um, see what see where we go from there. But uh, the next two days will pre be pretty low key. Barry Trammell with the Oklahoma. Oh, it's so tempting. Yeah, it is. It's so tempting. <laughs> go ahead and do it. No, no. You'll, make, you'll make national I news. I'm going to take the high road. You'll make national news. I'm taking news. the high road. Um, Barry Trammell, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Damien sort of carried you that first half. Sort uh, of. And he, well, yes. And he made so many shots. Do you think he got the other guys didn't get in rhythm, particularly CJ? It took him a while in the second half. I mean, second half. Especially down the stretch, CJ came alive. But was it a case that Damian was doing so much the other guys didn't no, get in the flow? Or I mean, that, that's a good question. That's a good question, Barry Trammell. Um, uh, I uh, it could be true, but uh, I think it was tough for CJ to sit the whole first half and and get his ryth rhythm in the game. I mean, when you're in the game the whole first half and it's at a high level, uh, it's hard to kind of kick in. But uh, I don't know. I thought um, I thought the third quarter was was well played. I, I wouldn't necessarily go go with that. Um, I mean, Dame was, I thought, in the third quarter, once we were back at full strength, uh, I thought we played pretty much the same way. And, you know, we we had a, we got a nice lead. We got a nine-point lead um, before things kind of fell apart. 